we have done videos to in order to know that we this is what we want to do we have done yeah. enough videos to know that this is exactly what we want to do and improve on if you haven't got to that stage where you feel like you can do this consistently you still should not invest Sweet Twins podcast number 7 Here we go You're recording zoom, 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 zoom. Oh no <laughs> All right everybody welcome to the Sweet Twins show I'm your host Chandra Mudalike and I will be guiding you through the knowledge the galaxy of I don't know what what what, what. <laughs> What are you doing <laughs> I'm taking over host responsibilities <laughs> and doing a piss poor job at it. All right. All right everybody, welcome back to the Straight Twins show. Are you born wanna come? This is episode number 7. We are going to talk today about learning, learning to, to create, create content. Drinks. Hold up. No, just, just <laughs> you can't say jinx because I have to keep talking. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Manura, right, so that is Chandra. For those of you who are new here, thank you for coming. Uh, or not, I don't care. Uh, let's do What? this. What? <laughs> <laughs> That is bullshit. <laughs> just being polite and impolite at the same time. All right. Well, I think what he meant to say was thank you for joining me. And if you're listening into the Street Wheel store right now, oh, we fuck. are <laughs> we are talking about creating oh, content today. Of basically, we are talking about uh, learning to create your first piece of content. Well, it's not the first piece. Just learning to create content in general. and uh, we are going to walk through our journey of how we started our learning no, procedures no, 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 and no, how no, we no, educated no, no. ourselves no oh, you are you're, you're talking about the last episode we did <laughs> if you if you haven't watched the last episode we did that's what Charu is talking that's, about that's what i was saying uh, <laughs> yes uh, if you wanted to know what <laughs> that was that's the one so no, today i, today I was going to say i'm going to add, <laughs> add a video column over here somewhere <laughs> if you want to go see that one that's just over here uh, uh, so, so today <laughs> today we are talking about if you are thinking about creating content how you're going to do it so if you have uh, i'm sure even now both of us have questions about how sometimes how we get into this whole whole thing but when we started we had questions about what exactly do we need to do how about starting properly starting content that we need to find the right information on starting because when you stay when you say creating content it's a huge topic and uh, yeah so many so many places where we can go and find information and it kind of sometimes confuses you so we thought of sharing our experiences on where we went to get that information where we learned our tricks or you know whatever that we have done so far and how we learned to make videos how we learned to edit how we learn to share how we learn to get something started right i think that's how yeah, we so, that's the most important thing when you have okay made that decision okay i'm going to start creating content which we talked about last mm-hmm. time you're not going to get into that again we have we said yeah, okay so why it's important you, to create if content you, if you watch the, yeah. yeah if you watch that video now and then you're coming on to this one you know what your reason is to create content you will have a probably understanding of why probably not yet probably not yet not yet you yeah. probably won't know your reason to create content but you will know definitely uh okay maybe you want to you maybe you like to create content but if you're not sure of how where to go and find the information on what to where to get so that basically but basically lessons, what do you learns, have to do skills, next what, what do you have options. to do next once you decided to create content or uh, this could be anything once you decided to do that what do you do next where do you learn or like where do you 
put this piece of content yeah. like you know yeah. and uh, we're going to discuss our favorite options and how we started our journey and uh, we're not going to dive into much into it because we kind of told our entire story last week menor i told yeah. you just to keep it short you know but uh, you tend not to listen to me sometimes but that's okay uh, we are still going to share okay. the for i Mark were it? you on your phone Gahan we are in the middle of a, we are in the middle <laughs> of a podcast no 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 no. no no i was looking at the time uh, where you know we decided to put a little bit of a time on things so that yeah so all right so menura when you started you said last week that you when you started creating content you just basically chanura, started me. with yeah <laughs> <laughs> really, let me do my job as whole oh god like come on you know you taking one thing away from me i how many times do i have to tell you this okay just uh, let me do my thing all right so okay, when you started create when you started doing uh uh let's just say when you started with street tweets yeah when we decided on where we are going to share our content and all that what is the first thing you research on because you always research and you like going through stuff and finding things out what mm. did you feel like was the best platform for us or like what did you feel like was the best place to share what we do like when we started creating because that was your first time creating first time creating that means like two years back right this is not the yeah new start of us no uh when i when i was doing that when we doing the skits and small clips of uh funny videos what people call it uh i was looking at honestly i was looking at stuff like you know what other people were doing so i was heavily inspired by vine back then mm. uh and i loved vine i really did unfortunately it's not there anymore but when wine was really popular i thought okay why aren't we doing that most of the sri lankans never did that uh it was more of a us to uh foreign based concept so i really like the idea of doing those kind of skits and because we had only we were really really into instagram back then so i thought okay instagram is the most way best way to get that attention because we have our friends there we have almost a good following there we didn't have a good following honestly i had like 300 I followers i thought that was a good following uh, i had 300 followers back then and I, i thought that was really really good enough to you know show people and when chandra and i came up came up with the first video we thought okay i'm going to put uh the video on my one first and we are going to put our yeah. videos on that first just to see i think we i, I think we are we posted the first video on your profile right because uh, we posted every video on my profile remember yeah yeah mm, i don't know i don't, know, I don't know whether you had less followers back then maybe it was because of that no no or it maybe was because i didn't want to post stuff on my page oh yeah you, you, said, you, said you said you said you were doing your covers you you said you wanted to keep it for covers and uh you said no put- i wasn't doing my covers dude i was doing my daily videos i this was way past that no 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 this was yeah. not no 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 this this retweets was before that oh yeah before that yeah okay yeah, yeah. so you were doing your covers at that time you like you were mm. doing the last moments of your cover thing and yeah you said uh, i don't i don't really want to put the these clips on my one my one yet so you put it there and when i did that's when i got like a lot of following and then that's when i hit the 1000 follower mark like it went very quickly exactly. yes and back then because of the whole <laughs> algorithm which we can get into maybe today or maybe not but that's an important lesson where you know we were thinking about it we just put that and how it grew so when i did the research i actually didn't do much research it was just because wine was in there to put those clips anymore so that's where we wanted to put uh, because instagram seemed like the place where we all knew where to upload how to upload and all of that and it just felt easier it just felt easy i didn't know how to caption properly back then i, I think when we look properly. i think when we look back to it as well i'll just add something to that uh, it's not the fact that menura actually did any research i'm actually going to retract that statement saying that you did any research did on it because now that i remember it it was more of a fact that because it was less than one minute 
and Instagram was known for these one minute videos and stuff. And I always used to do videos on Instagram. So for me, that just felt like the most practical solution where we don't upload it on YouTube because that doesn't make any sense. We don't upload it on Facebook because uh, too many people are going to see it because yeah. when you start off, you're always concerned about that. The first thing we thought was, well, why not we just go on Instagram? You know, it's just a port. It's just a Yeah, it's, small, it's, you know, it's the same, bro. So it's the same thing like... You. It's the same thing like, you know, when you did your uh, first covers on SoundCloud, right? Mm. Uh, it's the same thing how you made sure that, okay, you had a, I don't know how you got sound, knew about SoundCloud exactly, but you, I, I think you, I remember you telling about last, last episode where you said uh, you just knew that people, you know, SoundCloud was coming up and you knew that it was for putting music and you thought it was, it would be pretty cool to have your music there or something like that. You said, it's the same thought I had. I thought it would be pretty mm. cool to have videos instead of just pictures. That's what I, that's what I had. I thought, so I didn't have a lot of videos back then. I thought it would be pretty cool to do videos instead of pictures. That's no, I, I don't think, I don't think you really decided to put a video or anything. It's just that I decided not to put it on my one. We were just deciding on where to yeah. exactly post it. Yeah. And I told you that I don't want to post them on my one because I was into this fact that, you know, my feed has to be just covers right. and nothing else. No, no, and, I know that, know. but I'm, I'm, I'm saying the reason we did those videos was because mm. I was excited to put videos out more than pictures mm. that's exactly what i was talking I, about i think uh like so when you decide on making content and uh, this applies to everyone it it doesn't really matter where you post it for the first time and uh, this topic is more about where you continue to post like mm. you know where do you where do you actually start creating content and then you decide after that first piece that you do and you want more do you want to do more then where do you put it so for after no, it's not. First, uh, it's not about like okay, putting f- this learning should to not create be more, as yeah, well. This yeah. should not be more about where to put because you can put it anywhere you want. It's up to you. Wherever you're popular yeah. right now, put there. If you have, yeah. if you only have the highest you have is hundred followers on Instagram, that's where you need to put. That's the basically yeah, exactly. what you're saying. Exactly. If you're having uh, over thousand friends on Facebook, maybe that's where you need to put. Um, mm-hmm. because after you think of starting, we talked about this before where you said, okay, you create content. Okay. You have, you're thinking of putting out a video. You're just putting it out. It doesn't matter where you really put it because your first video mm-hmm. will always suck. It will always be bad. Uh, it will always be bad. But, yeah. but then I think when we go back to our story and when we did that, we did that video for opening doors to success. Opening I think that's the point. That's the point where we realized that uh, we were gonna be a thing, you know. Like that's you know, when we, we are realized gonna be like shit. this was what we wanted to do. It yeah. felt, I mean, it felt yeah, nice, not yeah. not make funny videos all the time. Yeah. It's just like working together. Yeah, that is when we knew that we had to create this. We had to create sheet reads, mm. and then yeah. we worked on things afterwards. We came up with stories. We wrote more stories down. Yeah. Now the process of learning that though, I remember after we did that first kid, the first that's when, the we that's when we got that's serious. That's when we got serious. That's when we got serious and we started doing the learning process of the creating. Part. Oh no no, not that so, that moment, bro. The after the handshake thing, I, I think we got serious. And even the handshake one was. That is when must, we really created. That yeah. is when we really even, created. But yeah. even the handshake one, we didn't actually put a lot of thought into it. It was it was deeply inspired by probably NBA. I'm I'm assuming. By the NBA I think we had this handshakes. conversation, we, we were watching a video or we were watching a match and then we were like, we should come up with our own handshake, Secret but make handshake. it really exaggerated. Yeah, yeah. yeah make yeah. it really exaggerated and turn it into a video. Yeah. And yeah, I think we just came up with the idea on that morning. And uh, see, most of the creative often. ideas that everyone has is mostly inspired ideas. You know, it can be from something. For you to make it creative, that's depending entirely on the person you are mm. learning to create is something whole something of a different topic altogether how yeah. do you learn to create is you take your own strengths and what you like to do and you apply it to a learning procedure where you research on people who you like following 
people who you get inspired from and people like you know people you watch every other day you know so if you uh, talk about it's also um i'm going to say it. it's also a way where okay if you if you're looking at videos and you're feeling like okay that's what you want to do that's what mm. you feel like it's your like oh yeah i also can do that kind of feeling if you have that feeling yeah. that's mm. where you need to go and do your research on and yeah. the, then it's up to you to figure out okay what's your weaknesses so mm. where are you weak on making that video what can yeah, you so l- learning to create we will get into the topic properly now so learning to create is basically what you do when you know what you are doing when you know that you know this is what you want to do yeah you research more on how you can improve mm. i would say that's the best way to put it right so when we started creating i think what we always did and we still continue to do every single day is learn and research on how we can improve yeah right exactly. i mean we we are at this situation right now cuz like few years ago or few months ago or few weeks ago a few days ago yeah we were not good as we are right now cuz we didn't know what we knew right today so if we okay. learn something okay. today from a a video or like another person who taught us something or sent us a message about something we wouldn't know that back then so researching learning creating is basically understanding the creative process of another person mm yeah right yeah, yeah. so que- question for you bro who was one person that inspired you most when you started creating let's just go back to your youtube start like you know when you started doing the blogging per se mm-hmm. and all that who was one person that inspired you easy case in nice that it's easy Uh, kind of hoping for a moment that he said me but like it's okay, no fuck you know. no uh, i didn't even know that you like no. the same i didn't know like that you like the same sort of things that i did back then uh so no not with see to it like before you started your vlogging thing i was doing my vlogging thing so, so i was kind of hoping you know you said uh, oh yeah you you know <laughs> no sorry <laughs> uh, i've been watching case in i've said since 2015 yeah, since Casey. i had access to a computer i have been watching him and it's kind of the obvious answer when it comes to blogging that it's him mm. but i could have i i wish i could have said someone that no one knows much but it's him it's honestly him i wanted to do exactly like, uh, the things like the way he did and if you look at my first videos it's pretty much me trying to copy him which was the fact that why it didn't work out um when you try to make your video look like someone else's video it will never work out so that's all right. we will talk about the learning yeah. process of it what, what what were you yeah. actually learning from casey what were you going through when you were watching those videos and what what inspired you about casey to start your videos the fact that he used to tell a story out of absolutely nothing just using his day to tell a story uh which was very interesting so like some videos of his are very simple where he would just wake up do go to his workplace and just hang around and show his studio that's it mm. and he would just you know skate around the city and that's it that's his day uh and he would make that video so interesting that it's like like you definitely you'll go down to the comments and uh, you'll see actually people be commenting and saying saying i just watched a man go to work and skate for 10 minutes mm. like that's even even though that's very silly he made a story out of it and the fact that he was able to do that and create amazing stories every single day and like he calls it like making movies is was something that i never like even thought of like was pos- possible so yeah. that, that was pretty cool for me i i really thought and then i like looked into other people like then if after case then i saw people like here yeah, peter mckinnon and even smaller youtubers who were doing it which was really really good some were actually better than case uh 
one person that is really I still like to watch sometimes is someone called Cody Warner, uh, who I saw through Peter McKinnon's channel. I don't know if you know this, but even that guy, he makes small videos, like four to five minute videos, and he just puts his day. That's you know mm. he goes to some place, hangs around, uh, maybe rides a bike or you know have a walk. and then comes back now it's very you know people everyone is doing it but those are the kind of things that i learned i then i like really looked into so basically you spent your like ages of uh, how old were we when we were 2015 probably 19 like, yeah so basically you spend the ages of 19 to 20 I feel watching like other people go through their lives all right <laughs> i knew so, you're going to make it <laughs> fuck you what you were you doing you said you huh? watched what were you, you doing were getting my adv- getting my advanced diploma and uh, you know oh that's 2019 hey, hey, maybe hey look i had my <laughs> right, getting too, back okay. to the topic getting back to the topic all right so what, when you were enjoying watching this man spend his entire day what made you say that <laughs> what made you say that look dude I am going to make my own videos one day. What was that part? With what part like you know why did you want to learn from why what actually made you learn that? When like, what was the tipping point in case this video is like when he made the uh, video to say how I make my vlogs. That's when mm. I thought I knew okay uh, you anyone can make this vlogs. Uh yeah I think I watched it as well where he says you know if I can do this you can do it as well I'm yeah. really not doing much so I'm just you know going to work yeah. and uh, showing you from yeah. home to work you know yeah. that's that's about it and like even like, every 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 big youtuber says this like I used to watch dude I used to watch Logan Paul the videos he did and even those why it was so very interesting to watch was it had it had a different style it had his own style he he made sure that he copied someone's idea and made it his own style so i knew if i started it i could probably make make it make my own style as well at some point if i keep on doing it and the fact that i knew that i had a passion for telling stories and the way they were talking about telling stories was different from movies so yeah and the fact that there was an opportunity there it felt very 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 uh like i uh, it's it's a it, it was a new thing for me that that's what i want to say it, it was a very new thing for me especially coming from sri lanka where you know we never knew about these kind of stuff so because vlogging has been there for a long time it's been there since 2012 that means when we were quite small mm. um and to know that it and when we got to know it was like 2016 2017 or 2015 it's pretty late actually people have already come into it but to know that there is still uh opportunity out there when it's 2020 and the the fact that i knew i was able to do that was the best thing so the fact that i could tell stories just do my thing and so what you were le- learning basically is uh i feel like i'm saying basically a lot today what you were learning is uh to create tell stories from casey you were learning how to tell a story yeah and that's what inspired to do make you do your own blogs yeah. right yeah so what was the next step for you like okay so you learned how to make the blogs you knew how kc was doing it you saw how peter mckinnon was doing it mm-hmm. you saw this guy cody warner and how he was doing it so what what was your first thing where you t- told yourself that all right i'm going to do my blogs as well cuz i like telling stories what was the next step for you in order to learn and uh, to so obviously youtube because casey was on youtube mm-hmm. uh so how how did the editing procedure start because i knew i know that you started editing when we started street twins yeah and you yeah. probably didn't edit before no and, uh, uh, yeah. street twins was from imovie 
Yeah. Uh, which is free. Anyone can do it. I had to. I for the for like couple of weeks. I didn't. I really struggled to even try and make videos on iMovie. That's how mm. bad I was at that start. I didn't know. I was really not comfortable with you know the chopping and cutting and trimming and you know finding clips, putting on music and all of that stuff. Uh, finding transitions and stuff. I was not really enjoying that at the start, but then I really got into it and I was really really excited that okay, after all of doing all of that, you're getting a story out of it. it was really cool. So that that's when I like I I thought okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to get like a better software. So when I started YouTube, I was like researching. But well, when you did your putting, first video, did you have a better software or were you still using iMovie? First video on YouTube? Yeah. No, uh, iMovie because I, I did that. I It was just a webcam thing. I talked about mm. it last time. It it was just a webcam. So whenever I did like speaking stuff, I, I just did it on iMovie. But I knew if I wanted to do vlogs, I didn't know this, but I know I know it could have been done on iMovie as well. But for me personally, I wanted quality on my vlogs. So I wanted to have a good uh, quality editing software and I wanted to learn it. I just wanted to learn it so that I, I can be better very quickly. Mm. I just wanted so to... So I'll tell you, I'll, tell you I, I'll jump in and I'm going to tell the different story right now, right? Just to give a different perspective. But of in, how I wanted to, I, I wanted to ask different. you this. I want to ask you this. Mm-hmm. When you started doing covers, you did it on iMovie too, right? Or was it on for your phone? Long, for a long time, it was. No, I had iMovie on my phone because I had the. No, so when I came over here, I had an iPhone. But before mm-hmm. that, I had a really shitty phone. When I first started doing covers, this was my first time doing covers. And this, that's what I was going to jump in and say. Yeah. I don't think anybody should like even think about editing because it should be natural. You know, it should just go all natural. So don't worry about everything. Like, I think it, it depends on, again, the creator you are. So if you're doing a vlog, you have to do some kind of editing. You can't just walk around with a camera and then put the whole thing as content. Mm. And I hate when people do that. Then that's there's no love into the product that you've already created. You know, you're just posting it. A cover or a musical thing is totally different. It can be you recording your friend and then posting your friend's, you know, song on your wall saying, you know, go check this guy out. See, covers are different. So you don't really need editing software to do it. Yeah. For the first whole year or two that I did covers, I didn't have any editing software. I was just basically recording it and then putting it on. You know, there was nothing in. I think I started properly editing when I was just putting names on covers. And like, I think I did one on YouTube or something. That was on iMovie weekend. Because mm-hmm. I remember the first Three Twins video was edited on iMovie by me as well. The opening was to success. Thing. And then you were the one who took charge of everything else for Three Twins. Like when we did like talking once and everything. Yeah. But for me, editing was always iMovie because it was easy. You know, it's what always about the, what about the it's stories? so user friendly. What about the stories that you did on Instagram? Was that that's uh, that's when I realized that I was actually a creator. Okay. Right, so that was what I was coming to. So okay. I realized I was a creator when I wanted to tell a story. Right. I think this is what differentiates a real creator as well. What do you mean? Because you're because you're creating music. Mm-hmm. Or like doing covers, it makes you a creator in your field of art where you, you know, add your own style of music, you add your own, you know, I don't know, you just uh, do you gar- use garage band, you add instruments and you do all those things, you know, you mix it. That's your own kind of creators. That's your own side of software. To be a video content creator, it's a different deal as you would know right now as well. The point where I knew I was a storyteller and I love telling a story out of nothing is when I started doing those stories. Mm. So I started doing my stories because one day I realized and I still have this video. If you go onto my wall uh, at the World of Genre, you would see that I did this video. I was so frustrated because I was doing blogs, right? So I was, I started off my YouTube channel and I was doing blogs. Basically I did 
two or three vlogs. Yeah. I edited it out of iMovie and uh, didn't we, I I liked the feel. I, I think I did some like pretty startup beginner fancy edits, right? Mm. That I learned obviously, and I'll tell you this as well. So I learned it on Google. I saw a few videos for iMovie and like how you can take it a bit further. So I added these in and I did a few YouTube videos. What were the edits? Uh, just, you know, like adding an FX in or like changing the color of it, uh, you know, putting more transitions in, putting mm. more text in, mm. uh, cutting it in a place where the audio is attached to uh, going like already going story. So it looks like a narration. So those kind of things on iMovie itself, you still can do those. You still basic edits. You don't really need these big software. Yeah. I realized I did this video and I still remember the video. I, uh, I was doing a story where I was, uh, not a story, I was doing a whole video mm-hmm. on Instagram and I posted it on my timeline and I said, I'm never going to do, I'm not going to be focusing on stories anymore. I'm just going to be doing uh, videos because I can't, uh, time is precious to me. I can't afford time to be wasted on my stories. Right. I did this video and I, and I, it's still there on my Instagram profile. The, the strange part, how things work out is the very next day I created my first story. <laughs> and when I say stories to whoever who's watching this and has not seen my stories the way I used to do it, I used to do episodes of it, right? So I used to do I tell a story out of a whole episode where it's small part of stories cut in, but it's a whole one video, but it's posted on Instagram stories. Yeah. I remember when I first did my story, I added music content, I added all that. And this was still done through iMovies. Then I had to use another software. So yeah. if you want to do stories, you can use these other software. And it's just about searching those and you can find this, right? You, yeah. I got the cut story app on my uh, iPhone. Mm. And then I was just cutting the whole video into 15 second pieces. Yeah, And that's how I started my first episode. When I started doing it, I think I did it almost consistently every two days or something like that. I realized I needed a better software, mm-hmm. you know, just to make sure I have everything in order. So that's when I, that's when I got PowerDirect on my phone. PowerDirect. Right? So, uh, okay. Yeah. So PowerDirect uh, was $30 or something on the store. Uh, Okay. Actually, no, I think, I think, no, it's not, it's not power direct. I had an iPhone. I think it was Lumify, LumaFusion, LumaFusion. Okay. Okay. So I had LumaFusion first on iPhone where you can, uh, basically it, it's, 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 it's something like Adobe for your phone. Mm-hmm. Right. So it has all the things that you really need. You can add music properly. You can really do good, uh, edits you can cut it you can color grade it you can do all those fancy fancy things on that but i was doing it on a 9 by 16 thing yeah point being learning to create this right so what when what happens when you do that first video is if you really like doing it the next step immediately would be how can i impress the two people who saw my story to make it into 10 people Mm. right Mm. how can i get those two to become 10 yeah. And that's something we always continue to improve on, right? There's so even a, there's, if you get like a thousand, thousand views on a thing, so, yeah, go yeah. ahead. There's another issue with this, bro. Like, okay, we talk about all this te- technical editing stuff. It comes when you're right. After you do a video, right? You do one yeah. video and you're like, okay. I don't think it's good. one video as well. It, it feels, it, it could be, I yeah. mean, we could say one video right now, but I think it's more than one video all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely around you do 10 videos and then you realize shit, you need more stuff. Mm. Like, you this, know, it, this, that, that's, that's the problem that a lot of people have. Okay. This issue I was there when I was having, when I started as well, we start thinking about investing in uh, software and equipment and all of that at the start itself, before we put out our first video. And that's a very wrong thing to do. Like I was talking yeah. to talking to someone who wanted to start something recently. Uh, mm. I'm not going to name any names because no, no point. But uh, that person wanted to start their own vlogging channel. Okay, mm. and they were they were saying, uh, okay, what equipment do you have? What software uh, do you have? And mm. the fact that 
they need to realize is that although okay we are both of us we are not people who have a big following yet we honestly didn't we have both together probably have done over 100 videos already which people most people have not even seen half of that like mm. we have put most of it on private we have done videos to in order to know that we this is what we want to do we have done yeah. enough videos to know that this is exactly what we want to do and improve on if you haven't got to that stage where you feel like you can do this consistently you still should not, not invest. invest i strongly believe that I, i exactly and i think and i think i told you this right yeah when you started you were thinking about all this and i told you one yeah. thing was you don't need this shit you, you know you don't this need shit. all yeah, this yeah. shit that you f- see other people doing yeah. because what's the point what are you going to do when you suddenly one day wake up and say fuck this i hate this why am i doing yeah. this you know so yeah, what so happens it's, that uh, that's a very important like uh, uh caveat that you need to know because if <laughs> if you suddenly do one video and be like wow that's a lot of hard work i don't want to do that again mm-hmm. uh i just leave that out for someone else then if no point buying all those cameras and editing equipment and all of that because you're wasting your money it honestly is i'll give a simple example right simple yeah. example is myself right mm. uh i got my camera from my friend thumbs yeah. it and yeah. i'm not going to i use that i use that a lot right but i will always prefer my phone over the camera even though i really have to start using this yeah for me the easiest thing to do and i know that sometimes you have to go beyond the easy and then do actual proper ones which will come but i still don't feel like it's my time you know see, see best example bro. yeah best yeah, example the thing, yeah. the thing that we are doing right now yeah we we don't need so, anything at the moment to start uh, creating content you have your phone you have it on in your pocket right now you can open up and do a okay. selfie video and, and put it out that's exactly. content and the best thing is to learn how to create content the only thing that you need is yourself keep doing it that's the main thing yeah, yeah. because you just need to keep doing it it doesn't matter if it's your shitty webcam it doesn't mm. matter if it's your flip phone as long as it has a camera it doesn't matter if you even borrow it from your parents right yeah. if you love to do it you will find a way so yeah. these people who give excuses right i i have spent money of them right like when i was doing all this like the main question one i like what i got from my friends is what do you use and what all this blah blah right and when they don't want to do stuff their first excuse is i don't have time i don't have the equipment or i don't right? have that kind of money so, yeah 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 Yeah, yeah, I don't have that kind of money where you always show. see the problem is if you really like doing something you will find a way. Exactly. Right? If you're yeah. giving a excuse the main reason is because you don't want to do it. So yeah. then that's the place where you step back and think to yourself and really ask yourself is mm. this who I am? If you're not committed to creating and not yeah. getting the things that you want out of it, like for one thing, appreciation or like mm. uh, the comments or like people appreciating what you do, then that's where you realize that this is not cut out for you, yeah. right? The worst part about content creation is the learning procedure. Like yeah. there's so much to learn, and that learning procedure, if it's the worst part for you, then you need to think about it because that's the most interesting part for us, right? for us the mm-hmm. most interesting part about this whole thing and I, i'll be really honest and i don't know if i speak for myself but bro i think it's the same for you yeah why we do so much research why we do so much of learning every single moment we get is because, because we're obsessed it excites us yeah we yeah, are obsessed with it it's an addiction yeah. right yeah now it, most people wouldn't have it like why do you want to sit and watch someone else talk about you know continue creating for a long hours or like watch one of her podcasts yeah. or listen to uh, podcasts or do all these things <laughs> good point you made just yesterday uh i went i went and i was searching how to how to create uh co- content consistently consistently on youtube that was a third topic that i actually typed in and searched how to how to use uh keywords how to use mm. tags on youtube how to upload properly how to uh 
how to put a video and get SEO, how to know about SEO marketing, how to create, how to get good at, like we've done this, how to get good at Premiere Pro editing. Now, if you first kind of fell stuff, asleep at that, at exactly. that things that he was saying, that's, you need to leave this video. That's a boring <laughs> topic. If you're not no, a content not, creator, yeah, that's a boring yeah, exactly. topic. Because in order to be a content creator, in order to be anything you really love to do, you have to be you obsessed with it passion. regardless of what people say yeah. about what you're doing. Exactly. And this bring, brings us to the topic where we were talking last week as well. The first part of learning is to make sure that you are interested. Yeah. Right. And like example, when we were small, if we didn't really like a subject or if we weren't interested in doing exams, we would fail. Right. If you're not obsessed with being uh, like, you know, doing science or like, you know, making sure our maths are good, we would obviously fail or come close to failing because we are not really researching it. And that's the problem with an education system. With content creation, it's something similar to that, but I'm just using that example because that's the closest to anyone. If you are not consistently learning it, how to improve yourself, mm. it could be just the smallest thing on how you speak in front of a camera. It will not make you any better than what you were yesterday. And there is, there is no point in you expecting things to happen if you don't put in that effort. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's about consistently learning when you come to content creation. So at this point, if you are saying that, you know what, I have my phone and I have uh, iMovies, but I still can't afford that time of editing a video and putting it online or like, you know, I still don't want to keep doing this for the rest of my life and not get anything out of it. That means you need to like, just do it as what it is, you know, just put it out there and then enjoy it. Yeah. We are actually talking to the content creators, you know, so learning to content create is something that evolves over time. It will take probably 10 years, you know, it's, it, it's taking us a long time right now as well. And we are learning every single day. The reason the two of us, we are talking about this is because learning content creation for the two of us and from the two of us is an exciting topic for us. Yeah. Like I would say that I would learn so much from him and vice versa as well that, yeah, you know, I didn't sure. know before. Yeah. And like whenever we have conversations, it's just like, a, I mean, one person could do more research than the other person. And then we have that ability to talk about it. Mm. So content creation is all about understanding that you want to do this seriously. Yeah. So, so say that we got that learn, like, you know, first step done where you go and uh, search what you need for your video and you got your phone, you got your camera or whatever you have. All right. Keep breaking Next. Up, Sorry. Yeah. Keep breaking up. All your Wi-Fi can brush nothing else. It burned down. I think that's this side of the house. It's okay. All right. Taveka Tamai that we have to make sure that we tell is when you start learning, the hardest part is to know when to stop researching and also just to jump in and create. Just to do it. See, that's yeah. the thing. So when I said learning, you shouldn't be learning before you start it. And I, I'm, I'm a creator who actually would say, if you're doing your start research before you started any piece of content, you're a dumbass. Yeah. You're honestly the, like the stupidest idiot in this whole planet. And I say that with my whole heart because you're not doing it. You're thinking about doing it mm. and you're criticizing other people who are doing it. So what kind of idiot are you to actually do research about it? Right? I have a, I have a great example. Again, this is, this is me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I would go because now I'm doing like filmmaking also, bro, because I've done editing as like a course unit. I've done course units as editing. Mm. I've done course units of proper storytelling and all of that. Yeah. I would go on YouTube sometimes and look at this like big YouTubers and be like, ah, that, that, that could be done better. You know, that could be done much better. The transition could be more, you know, much more neater. Uh, that, that should, that story should definitely be done in a different way. And <laughs> after a little while, I'm thinking, 
dude you have not even uploaded 100 videos yet what the fuck are you doing <laughs> exactly but we tend to do that a lot right yeah. like all right let's just let's just take this how many people who watches our videos are saying that they can do it better than us let's just be honest i am pretty sure 80% 80% of the people are saying you know yeah. what i can do better than this have you even uploaded one of uh, one video of you doing that that's my question if you're doing it that's fine you have every right to judge you have every right to critique it and we love your critique so please leave us a critique on if you are doing things like that that's completely fine and you're you're more than welcome to give your opinion if you, you have done it, though, it though, okay. uh, no if you haven't done it though what gives you the right to go and say that you can do it better than another person yeah right it comes with experience See, editing as menura would probably say is the worst and the hardest part like it's not the worst it's enjoyable like once you get into it you really really like it no no it definitely can uh, be like i i tend to like it can it. be a nightmare uh, yeah it can be a nightmare though cuz like if yeah. it depends on your how fast computers are yeah like for and me i love it and I, when i get into it i forget about eating as well so like when i get into it i love it mm. but the worst part is thinking about it you know cuz you have so much of footage to put together yeah. let's not get into that i'm just saying you don't know the toughness or like the time or everything that you have to put into making a video so don't go and judge anyone else or when you are learning something specially don't critique that person cuz uh, that person is only talking out of what they have done if it's a person who has not put hunt, like who has not even put like you know two three videos and they are talking about it then uh, then there's a problem yeah you know cuz then there's an issue so yeah. you need to read that's your place to know where you get the knowledge from but we are not here to advise anyone we are just uh, we are just here to talk about our learning journey and like you know what we actually went through when we were learning yeah uh um, right can i can i jump in yeah find the panina what the hell <laughs> the hell is that my bad <laughs> uh only phones away during podcast ladies and gentlemen phones away <laughs> phones away uh what i was going to say was it's uh fuck i lost my train of thought okay uh amta kuna pasle now ne mata kiyo what was i going to say it was a very important topic top point you do this all the time man it's like last week when you said that you were a famous celebrity director and Dude, you didn't know yeah, the name yeah <laughs> my friend one of my friends also told me that half way through i just forget what i'm saying <laughs> jesus christ man get a grip of your life what is happening to you you're losing yourself i'm going All crazy right. man because this stupid quarantine hey, lock when i speak when i'm speaking then don't suddenly say Dude, no, can i jump I, in I, without I actually had a great point, point to jump in cuz then you are ruining my point <laughs> as well amazing <laughs> point can, like honestly hey dude can i jump in oh wait i lost the train i thought what <laughs> who did you just that? forgot such uh, a Ah, did you get it back? No, not yet. Are ilanga rao me did pani ne to kora tere. Me all right, so as I was saying, right? So there was this point where all our learnings actually, you know, learning basically comes through people that you like to watch. And I'll be honest, when I started my stories, I didn't know who the person was inspiring me. Mm. I then got on to Peter McKinnon. And through Peter McKinnon, I found Jesse Driftwood. when i realized that this man was doing what i was doing 100 times better <laughs> mm. i was blown away you know and that that's i think a point where i actually started doing my videos better as well and this is how you learn like so this is how you learn you start doing something you don't know how to do it you see other people who are actually doing it and excelling in their fields and yeah. you apply some of their yeah, nuggets yeah. into your hold life hold on hold on you watch jesse driftwood and before doing your videos or after after definitely after. really what like, we yeah yeah no really? after like just yeah i told you this jesse driftwood was way after i never saw i never came across jesse driftwood before the reason and that's why i tell you go and watch the video that i did of i me telling that i don't want to do instagram stories 
Mm. Then I realized all these blogs and all these things that I'm putting effort into YouTube can be taken into a story, yeah. and really make the story interesting. Yeah. See, I thought it was an original idea. You know, I thought this is it. You know, I'm the only person who is doing it. Then I come to realize there's actually a whole community of people who are doing this. <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, that's the worst part no, about content yeah, creating. Definitely, like, definitely. That's that's this other thing about people saying, "Oh, but it's already been done. It's already you know vlogs are already." Yeah, we will not we we will not yeah. talk about that because learning yeah. to create does not involve that point. Because no, no, no. I'm just saying just to let y'all yeah. know, uh, there's still opportunity available. Uh, now moving on, the when you when you're learning to create because that's our topic here. There's only few things that you need to know. We'll we'll just you if you if you have an idea, say that you have, uh, say just like me, maybe you have been watching Casey Neistat or Peter McKenna or whoever you want to vlog, you want to tell stories on YouTube, uh, and then you want to put your first vlog. You go and watch them. All you have to do over and over again, over and over again. and then just hit record on your phone and our sweet twins yes yeah hit re- or, or yeah watch us watch us do it if you think maybe you can do better watch smaller youtubers do it because that so that also helps that really helps mm-hmm. when you watch yeah. smaller youtubers try because there are it. people who actually took action and did it yeah it's impressive some people are really really good Like There's us. a lot you can learn uh, from small YouTubers as well. Like honestly, like I've learned a lot from small YouTubers and like going into yeah. things and like watching how they actually strive to be better. Yeah, and, and also I think there's a lot of encouragement in yeah. that as well. But we'll we'll keep that to a yeah another video again. The the most important thing is that you need to know is you don't don't give too much thought on editing. Although we say it's important, that comes later on. All you have to do is hit record and put out a video. Then, if you're happy with it, if you're not happy with it, you look at that and then go back to your creators that you are inspired by and match that and see, okay, what can I improve on? Is it the editing? Is it the way I talk? Is it how they share their videos? Is is there something that they are recording that I'm not recording? Those are the kind of things that I look at first. When I did my hmm. first vlog, uh, with I did it with my dad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the that, way the way you talked was really bad. I yeah, it, uh, yeah, it was terrible. It was absolutely <laughs> terrible. The way I edited <laughs> was, was absolutely <laughs> terrible. There, there were there, there was like the 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 van that I took the the pictures that I took was so pixelated. It was so too much color grading into it that you were you it looked like I was on a trip. having a mm. real bad high it's it's like you know at the start it's really bad but then when you look at it you have to make sure that you get better if you're not getting better then there's no point there's no point the mm. fun is in creating is to get better getting better keep on yeah. it's the journey honestly it's so it's learning, learning 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 yeah yeah time. uh then it then the other part is just talking to people just talking to other creators you know and see how they can help you i spoke to a lot of people like i spoke to him i spoke to a lot of people who were doing it yeah. like in the same finally zone. get a shout out my god so <laughs> same same like same capacity i honestly can't go and talk to big people i wish i could but when you talk to people who want to create as well it helps so just just learning every time and then figuring out whether you actually want to invest money real money into it uh when i say that i don't mean like you know buying big stuff just buying a right. camera and all of can that can i can i say something can i say something really inspirational at this point like what all right cue the serious music right when you are learning to no don't do it don't don't i was kidding all right <laughs> let me talk <laughs> Uh, that's not the inspiration of music. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Learning to create. When you start it off, make sure the people around you don't inspire you to what you do. Then dump them. Dump their ass. <laughs> All right, stop what? it. Stop it. 
it's throwing me away. It's throwing me away. All right. No, what I was going to say was, it was along that line. When yeah. you are starting to learn, starting to learn to create, starting to learn to create, starting learning to create, same thing. Starting you're learning to, learn to, to create. create. Don't when say you're start. learning to create, <laughs> when you're learning to create, all right, there will be people around you who will say, uh, you know what, this doesn't suit you, this, uh, you might have to change it up. I would say, tell those people to F not F off, no, to actually not tell those people to wait until they watch you at least 20 times over. No, honestly, I remember when I started doing my covers, right? Mm -hmm. At the bat, right off the bat, it was, there were bad comments and there were good comments. Mm -hmm. What I do on the bad comments most of the time, even though I was very disheartened and I got sad and I got, you know, depressed, all those things. What I told them was, I'm sorry, I like doing this. Yeah, watch I'm sorry, me. I like doing this. Watch me. No, again. not really watch me. I wish <laughs> I said, I, I wish I said, I wish I said, watch me. Uh, and just say, watch me with those eye emojis. No. I, uh, I, what I, what I said was, uh, I'm sorry you didn't like this, but I still am going to continue doing it because I want to improve. Damn and I think bro. I made a whole video about this. Damn bro, you're so yeah. polite. What? You're polite. No, I mean, I can't really, I can't really say anything bad when someone says that you can't sing. Imagine that, right? As soon as you start singing, someone says you can't say, what do you do? You get disheartened, right? So I'm just saying, I'll always say, I'm sorry that you didn't like it, but I want to keep doing it because I like doing it, right? Yeah. And I, I, I don't want you to follow me or anything because of it, but I just hope that you will watch the next ones and tell me how I am again. Yeah. You kind of have to have that, uh, like, Excuse you know, groundedness exactly to say it as a creator that, I'm still going to keep going. And even if it's after hundred videos, you love doing it. And someone else says that you should stop learning this. That's on them, not on you. Yeah. Right now, like we'll talk about this. When Menura decided to switch his careers and uh, become a filmmaker. All right. How many critics did you get? Probably everyone doubted you. Everyone. Everyone was like, fuck you. Don't do it. Everyone. Except for me. Everyone. No, except for me. <laughs> uh, you asked me, are you sure? Well, yeah, because you're a dumbass. So, no, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> no, but like at the start, anyone will say that. But once you keep doing it for I'm a sorry, period of time, people will me. understand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if you have that learning enthusiasm, that motivation, that inspiration to keep learning and enjoy what you do, all the best for you. Yeah. But you know, but you got to keep pushing it. That's mm. the main thing. So we went on from iMovie to now the both of us have Adobe suites. Uh, you know, we both use Adobe to edit our videos and it's it doesn't, just it doesn't because really we, matter what it doesn't have. really matter. Exactly. You it doesn't really matter because you when you start off, yeah. you'll know what it, you want. Just, you'll know what yeah. you want. I've learned this. The main thing is as I, a I creator, you, I, I'll tell you, bro, I'll, I've learned through this through film school because con content creation is not only just putting stuff on YouTube and stuff, right? Even if you're a filmmaker, even if you are a photographer, even if you are, a, what else is there? Uh, whatever you do, okay? Even if you're a singer, a dancer, whatever you do, it doesn't matter what software you use, the equipment you use, whatever that you use externally, it's the only thing that matters at the end is how you do it. So you have to yeah. figure it out. The research is important. If you really love what you're doing, keep doing it. Just keep doing it. You'll, you'll learn it. Experience matters. Learning to create, mm -hmm. the best way to learn to create is to, through experience. If you keep on putting 10 videos, like he said, you'll find out what you have to do in the end. Exactly. You'll, exactly. Be, you'll be like, I think I need this. I think I need to invest on this. Need that. Like yeah. Chanur was just saying, he needs to invest on lights. And I said, mm. yes, you do. Right? <laughs> because apparently he said, I look too dark. What yeah, a racist, right? I mean. it's like, that's how you learn. We, you have to, yeah, you but have that's to exactly. know what your weaknesses are. When you're that's creating, you'll know. All, all, yeah. Always know the difference between constructive criticism and hate as well. Because no one, like, 
honestly like hate will always be there but learn the difference between constructive criticism and hate especially when you're a creator uh but yeah at the end of the day what we are saying is uh coming to the end of our show right now what we are saying is if you are someone who is very interested in learning to create exactly like the two of us honestly just do videos just keep doing what you do keep doing what you're doing right now yeah and uh have confidence and have trust in you and like you know when i say that you will get there and you will recognize the time that you really have to do all those stuff it will happen it will just it just happens mm. you know but always always watch the people that you really love to watch and listen to more people listen to things that you think that will help whatever you are doing when it comes to your creative content because that will help you go a long way. Yeah. We are not saying you have to copy those people. We are just saying always take the inspiration that you need from those people and apply that to your life as well. Content creation is always about getting inspiration and uh, making things out of nothing. So That's learn good. that trick and that will take you a long way. And uh, you know that we are doing that right now as well and we'll keep doing that for probably with the rest of our lives with what we whatever we do yeah uh anyway uh that's it for the show any, guys we'll see uh, you don't have anything smart to say and good all right uh, <laughs> <laughs> i've run out of smart things to say i hope you enjoyed uh, this show thank you for watching thank you for joining we'll see you next week make sure that you hit uh look at all those links go wa- watch uh this are highlights on instagram listen to this on spotify itunes wherever you get your podcast from uh we upload every week make sure that you subscribe to the street with yeah channel. leave a comment leave a comment leave a if comment. you actually learn something or if yeah. you have any tips for us or like you know because we are starting up as well if you have anything that we should learn ourselves please leave us a comment we don't take anything the wrong way we would love to hear from you so leave us a comment on our youtube video or on instagram or send us a message whatever uh we are we will always respond so thank you again for listening in until next time ciao everyone